welcome back to my youtube channel welcome back to another one thank you so much for stopping by guys um i am homoto also known as koelini natural and welcome to my first series for 2020 and this will be obviously on protective hairstyles so um just a background on the hair right so i did this hair approximately six weeks ago so it's six weeks right now and by the time you see this video series i'd probably have taken out the hair right i decided to do short box braids um uh, because i knew i was going to limpopo i was visiting my grand this holidays and i needed my hair to be short now if you know limpopo you know it's hot <laughs> um but anyway i decided to do these box braids and people were asking if i did them myself i didn't do them myself <laughs> i know I do hair but i don't do my own hair um i was not in the mood guys like i just needed someone to just play around with my hair that's all like there's nothing to it so i did my hair in brahm um the salon is next to spur and the lady's name is caroline and how i basically prepared my hair for the protective hairstyle was i washed it and i did like a two-step deep conditioning session so i did a protein treatment first and then i followed up with a deep conditioner and then i did my lco right so the morning of when i go do my hair i usually put on my heat protectant um, um lotion because i know that they usually like to hair dry our hair right and i was using this specific one i don't know if you guys can see it i hope you guys can see it so this is the perfect heat pro protect um which is a styling serum to nourish and protect from heat damage um so i just lathered that on my hair before i left because i thought she was gonna hair dry it, especially because it was not completely dry when i left right but to my surprise <laughs> caroline decided not to hair dry my hair of which i was happy with like i was very impressed with the fact that she like she knows my hair by now like my natural hair journey and the fact that i don't like heat if we can avoid using heat we'll try not use heat so she didn't use heat um on my hair and also i was also impressed because she was plaiting my hair damp like she had um an aunt jackie's she made like a mixture with aunt jackie's leave-in conditioner and water so every time like she was dealing with my hair she'd make sure that it's damp so that it does not break and i'm like sis why are you learning all of these things because <laughs> i thought it was going to be one of those experiences where they're going to head dry my hair and be like why don't you relax your hair blah 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 but i mean caroline was like nah babes i get you you know i get where you come from but anyway um she did my hair and then we used darling one million the black one people were asking how i take care of the hair now don't be like me <laughs> guys i have neglected my hair so much since i put it in this protective hairstyle to a point where i'm so nervous to see how it's gonna look when i undo the hair um so don't be like me right so basically how you would take care of it if you are not me if you are better than me if you want to be you know a better person than me <laughs> is you would moisturize your hair like every other day using like a leave-in or you can like use water with leave-in like a mixture kind of in a spray bottle and then also like for the shine you can use um like an oil-based product actually let me get the ones that i was using to show you. basically i would moisturize my hair with this of which it is finished and it is crying out for dear life like guys i keep i keep on checking it on clicks on the clicks website to see if the price went down it's like 200 and something like for the actual full bottle but i actually do love it so i'm still like am i gonna spend 200 rand not yet <laughs> so i would use that to moisturize my hair moisturize my hair and then for the shine i would use the vita um is life silky oil spray treatment so this i would just put on the actual braids just to add like a little bit of shine because they tend to be dull right so um yeah those are the two things that you would do and you would do this every other day as i have mentioned but because i was being like a rebellious natural 
natural hair enthusiast i actually like only moisturize my hair a total of like three times to my it's hard so like can you imagine it's hot and humid and then you put on stuff on your head and then it just it just feels like things are just sitting on top of your head and you're sweating and it's just unbearable so that was that is just my defense to this whole situation but like on a normal occasion i would like moisturize my hair like every other day just so that i can make sure that it's protected right so um yeah and also like when you sleep like the routine is still the same for when you sleep you still use a silk based like satin based like um either pillowcase or you use a scarf and i was i was using a scarf like this is just one of the ones that I have. So I was using a scarf to like tie my hair down and like keep it protected because I mean, you know. And also another tip is to not tie your hair too tight because your edges are gonna die. Like one last tip before I end the video, remember not to keep your braids in for too long because it's not good for your hair, right? So um, I'm keeping them for a maximum of six weeks. I wish I could keep them longer because like guys life is so much easier with braids on but like you need to give your hair a break because otherwise you're gonna pay for 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 what's gonna happen to your hair like it's gonna start eating away at your hair and your actual hairline and it's gonna be breaking your hair because there's actual tension um, from the braids so remember to like you know space out your protective hairstyles when you do them and then um, I think that's the end of part one of the series where I was just giving you background on the hair why I got it how I looked after it or how I did not manage to look after it but anyway thank you so much for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to um, stay tuned for the other two videos that are coming which the next one will probably be how I wash the hair and then the last one how I undo the hair. So if you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and leave your comments and suggestions um, in terms of what you'd like to see from me in terms of hair content. And I will catch you in my next one. Bye.